So what inevitably happens when I have special guests on podcasts is we spend four hours shooting the shit and a half hour recording. Yeah. And it's like, you know, the shooting the shit part is just as good. Yeah. So could we just roll for Christ's sake? It's a behind the scenes thing that, uh, yeah, makes all the, makes that's what, that's what people want to see is the behind the scenes. Um, <laughs> you're making a big assumption that people want to see anything I do. <laughs> and that's generous of you. I'm not sure. You people watch. You watch! I mean it. I swear to God. What I also do uh, sometimes is I will cross post these to my main channel, which is as good or better. Yeah. Well, I mean, in terms of traffic, it's substantially better. But uh, so uh, earlier in the show, we talked about not filming fireworks. Yeah. But one thing I would I, I don't understand either is why do people buy fireworks? Right there. Uh, what a waste of money. Unless you're trying to impress people and put on a show or your kids, right. your kids, when it, you know, a little, I used to buy my son this little clear backpack at the Black Cat place mm -hmm. that is just made up of little fireworks for kids, the little tanks that you light and they roll and the sparks come out the end. I can see that. Mm -hmm. That's okay. But it's when you're getting the, the $45 launch in the air stuff right. that most of the places you can't even set it off, especially right. in Auburn. Auburn, if it goes up or blows up, it's illegal. And for fun, at the uh, reservation here in Auburn, uh, one of the fireworks stands on the reservation is called It Goes Up and Blows Up. <laughs> My favorite is Ill Eagle Fireworks. Ah, that sounds like a sick bird. Yeah, that's uh, that's one out of Puyallup. Uh, you nice. drive by that all the time on River Road if you drive down that way. I don't. I've yeah. driven down it once and I got sad. And they're open year-round. You can go buy fireworks yeah. anytime. But what's funny, from what I understand, is if uh, you go up there and buy fireworks up there at the Muckleshoot Indian Reservation, uh, they can arrest you uh, once you drive out of there. Um, if they watch you, I mean, I, I'm not sure if that's I don't for real. Know, I don't know if that's true, because it's not illegal to own them. It's just illegal to, 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 light, them. to light them. So next to all the hundred stands selling all manner of fireworks uh, is an, a big open field where you're allowed to light them off. And what's funny, go there, drive there in the middle of the day, and there's people out there lighting, lighting fireworks off. off. It's broad like, daylight. Yeah, broad daylight. Oh, that one goes up. Well, how did it look? Well, I don't know. It was daytime. It looked <laughs> okay, I guess. Well, and they keep that area open until, I think, they say 10 o'clock at night, but oh. it, they keep it open as long as there's customers. Yes. But what cracks me up, though, is why do you buy it when you can just stand there and watch what other people have? And there's... Probably a hundred people at any given time sitting there just watching you light off yep. shit that you, watching you set your money on fire. Yeah, and for 99.9% .9 of the time, all fireworks look alike. They really do. Some are slightly bigger than others, but there's there's nothing, you can't buy anything that's that's genuinely special that you haven't yeah. seen a thousand times. You, you, get me the, you get me the dragon uh, firework from Lord of the Rings that Gandalf mm -hmm. had. I would watch that fucker. Every night, watch that thing dragon come screwing up and, and flying over my my, uh, my my neighborhood. But yeah. you, but you made a good point. It, like let's say you have a house, and you're having a party, and you live in a place where it's legal to have a show. Yeah. Great. Go spend a couple hundred bucks, have a great great show. But no one does. That's not that's not how it works. No. It's you either buy them and then you have to sneaky quick set them off and run back inside or more likely you just light them off right there next <laughs> to the casino and it's like I just you know and we're waiting we went for the show last uh, Saturday yeah and beforehand just to kill time we walked around the booths and I've got b-roll of that I'll put up and it's a neat atmosphere and the salespeople are so friendly and so outgoing and just you know well just tell me just tell me what you're looking for yeah. nothing i am looking for nothing something for the kids nah they're good no they're I, good. I don't even want the little snakes that you light and they just kind of no. those were those, no, those were cool in my day when i was a kid you know but we would like those way before fourth of july and right. there'd be the black stains all over mm -hmm. the the driveway you right know? The burnt <laughs> cement no we bought them we went to the dollar store and bought boxes of poppets yeah that's great. 
That's well, pop have actually gone up a notch, too. Oh, have they? My, yeah, my son got a box of those, and I put them out back so he couldn't get a hold of them because he would go out. But them things sounded like a damn firecracker. Huh. I popped one, and they, they're like extra strength. And hmm. boom, I'm like, holy crap, I think I just shattered my bathroom window from one of those. Those huh. are, are kind of high energy, man. That's, well, that's at least something. That's that's something. Yeah. But yeah, the uh, we bought... A couple of years ago, we bought, you know, all the little, yeah, like you said, the little tanks that shoot across. And, yeah. And then the one that's, yeah. It's, it's just a little package for kids. Yeah, yeah, for kids. And it was cheap. and But no, I'm not going to, they're, they're like, oh, check out this box. It's like, uh, you know, this one, it was, the damn thing was five, six feet tall and three feet wide. And it's like, this is $500. The why? Yeah, of shit. Yeah. Five, well, but five, it's got one of these in it. Right. And the rest is all shit. Yeah. I, what, you know, even if I, I wanted to buy fireworks, I would have to do reviews online first to know what I'm buying because you guys aren't going to tell me. $500 would uh, would uh, help with the cancer treatment and get me a lot of weed. Right. Yeah. Right. I can find better things to find spend with $500. Um, um, here, here we'll go over a list. Uh, uh, my rent. Mm. Um, bills. Mm. Uh, gas for the vehicle for a while. Sure. Uh, clothes for the kids. Mm. Mm. Um, uh, the dentist. Uh, groceries. Groceries, yeah. You know, power. <laughs> Power's a good one. I mean, little stuff. Hey, you Bob, know. I can't I can't do the power, but we got fireworks to light up for a good five minutes. Wow. You, you know that. Lights in the house. You know that decision's been made before. <laughs> I know it is. Here's, yeah, yeah, that's how we light the house. Here's, here's the layout of our 4th of July. And I love our 4th of July. It's been like this for, for many years. It's, we have friends that live in Kent. Um, and we go over there and we play poker. A lot of people come over and we hmm. play, you know, we play, uh, actually pay for poker, you know, $10, hmm. $10 buy-in kind of thing. We enjoy that. Everybody has a good time, lots of food, lots of good people. Yeah. And they actually have, you know, in the past few years had bought, you know, a fair amount of fireworks. But what's funny is we're close enough to, to, uh, Lake Meridian to watch their fireworks sure. set off and also... Three or four neighborhoods around them also set off like really expensive fireworks, big and important hmm. to them. So he finally figured out last year, why am I paying for all these fireworks right. when we can still continue to play poker, have a lot more food, a lot more fun, and watch right. everybody else's fireworks. Right. So there you go. Go to a place where they blow off the fireworks, folks. Save your money and uh, pay, spend it on your kids, yourself. Go on vacation. Do something uh, that's tangible and that you can hold in your hand. For longer than 30 seconds, don't hold fireworks. Uh, Roman candle's not bad. They still can burn you. Yeah. What we do is uh, my wife's uncle, Pat, and it's weird. It's like an, it's such a distant uncle. I couldn't tell you exactly how they're related, but <laughs> we've gone enough years that they know who we are. Um, he is a licensed pyrotechnician. Awesome. And he lives, he has this big, beautiful house on a lake up in Granite Falls. And he puts on, his cost is $1,000. And that's including the fact that he makes a lot of the fireworks himself wow. and he's buying them at wholesale. I mean, he does like the city of Medina or Medina. He does their uh, annual New Year's fireworks that's, show. That's, that's not a city. That's a small, rich right. area of people that owned by, um, right. by Bill Gates. Right. <laughs> but the idea is he is a legit pyrotechnician. Yeah. These are legit fireworks. And because he is a pyrotechnician, it's not even illegal. Yeah. I mean, he's got, you know, a permit. And uh, it's an ATF permit. Nice. Yeah, because... Well, he does it legally. Well, right, and because he's handling explosives. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, the quantity he has in his workshop, I imagine, would be cause for suspicion if he didn't have a <laughs> license. And I, and I think you have to have the license to buy a lot of this stuff. But, yeah, he's got a barge. He floats it out. It's all remote control. And he puts on a show that would just make you cry. It's amazing. And he puts it on. There must be... Uh, some of the neighbors around the lake now have started chipping in on it because they feel bad. Oh, there we go. And there's only maybe, I would say with all the houses around the lake and his party, there's less than 200 people. <laughs> it is just absolute insanity. That's a nice party, too. You ever Have you ever been down to Lake Meridian and tried to get into that joint for their fireworks no. show? Oh, my God. You have to get there like 7 in the morning, yeah. find a good place on the beach, and if it turns out to be kind of a so-so uh, night, and you know how, how our... our, our um, evenings are here before fourth of july mm -hmm. it's kind of weird fourth of july we set off all this fireworks it changes the atmosphere and then it gets nice here but you have to get down there seven in the morning set up your little area spend the whole day there and then you watch the fireworks and if it's a crappy night cold 
uh, wind comes off of the beach and you're shivering on Fourth of July and the fireworks are okay. I'd like to go see your distant uncles. I know uh, it's fireworks. it's it's and that's the best part is there's no traffic. Yeah. You're, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. It's wonderful. No, it was great. We in we were in. Uh, it's near Glacier, Montana. It's Lake something. It's uh, a little tourist town. The Amtrak stops there. I forget the name of it. That cut bank. No, no, it's right by the ski resort near the top of Flathead Lake. Anyway, we're out there for the 4th of July, and we got there early, and we camped out early, and we got a great spot and all that. And the fireworks show starts, and it started so magnificently. We're like, oh, my God, this is going to be the best fireworks show we ever saw. And then it, a few minutes, you know, and then 10 minutes later, it just kind of... Oh, so they, they they blew their load right off the bat. They hit the wrong button. Yeah. They hit the finale. They started with the finale button. Son of a bitch. Yeah, that's why you shouldn't drink and do fireworks, even if you're licensed to do fireworks. It so. was, it's got to be just heartbreaking for the poor people running it. We still had a great time, but that was one of those ones where now there's just no way in hell we're getting out of here. And Minus was, 10 points for Gryffindor. <laughs> it was so, it took so long getting out of there. And this was long enough ago that people were, Amazed that in our car we had DVD players on the back of the headrests. Ooh. They're like, holy smokes, are those rich people? <laughs> it's like, no, no, it's eBay. It was like $300. But those are gone. Those yep. don't exist anymore yep. because what do you need one for? We've all got our own tablet. Yep. Yeah. You know what's funny is uh, speaking of that, we'll kind of we'll kind of drift, which I always like to do because I'm that kind of person. Something will spark my interest, and I'll go with it. I remember going through uh, Jack in the Box one night at 2 a.m. and the guy in front of me had uh, porn showing on all, all his little little uh, nice. little uh, yeah headsets uh, just on his on his screens. I was like, yeah. really? Yeah. I hope the kids aren't in the car. <laughs> really at that kids. hour, you know, it's uh, well. Johnny likes to watch porn and puts him to sleep. Oh, that's nice. It's <laughs> I mean, that is a quality Uber driver right there. So what do you want to watch? What do you got? I have porn. I got, I got some really good porn you kids ain't ever seen before. It's a, this, is a, this is an outtake scene from uh, Forrest Gump where Forrest is doing porn. <laughs> and, and a lot of people don't know. Uh, Ty explained this to me earlier. That's actually true. Yeah, there's an outtake of uh, Forrest Gump where uh, they had to take it out, but he became a porn star. Well hung. And uh, yeah. Okay, Jenny, would you like to see my schlong? Uh, okay, and it was and it was strange because apparently uh, they couldn't get a PG or PG thirteen rating. Yeah, with that. yeah, that's yeah. They tried but to put that on. And that's Hollywood, you know. I mean, they just they're so uptight. Hard to get a hold of that footage, just like it was you know, hard to get a hold of uh, Forrest Gump's penis. You know, my friend Dennis was explaining that the thing that's wrong with movies nowadays, what's missing, full penetration. Yeah. Yeah. You just don't have enough of it. No, because it just changes movies. that rating on the movie and you know so uptight. Yeah. So uptight. There was uh, some good sex scenes and I, I really enjoyed in in uh, Deadpool though. Hmm. That was kind of surprising to me how far they took it. It was one of those scenes where it's like did you put that in there thinking they would not let you do it and they just did and you're like, "Well, uh, I guess we're going to have pegging." <laughs> Somebody paid off somebody. I don't I don't understand. Hey, listen, I know it's an R. Don't put it in an NR. Here you go. Well, it comes to DVD and, and, and Blu-ray. It doesn't matter anyway because it's going to have an NR rating. Here you go. <laughs> Waiting for that version to come yeah, out. Yeah, I I wonder if it already has. I well, as far as, as far as I know, they, they rated that R. The, the DVD release? The DVD release was R, but I mean, you know. That uh, other version is... Gotta it's be, waiting. It's got to be out there. Yeah. That was pretty hardcore anyway for, for, a, for a Marvel movie. And as I was telling Brian earlier, that was not really sanctioned by Marvel. It wasn't made by Marvel Studios. If you watch in the beginning when it, you know, the Marvel lettering comes up and it says Marvel, there is no studios on the bottom. If you watch all the other, for the most part, watch all the other uh, Marvel uh now, movies, it says Marvel Studios. Yeah, because Marvel Reynolds, Studios is a separate entity. Yeah, Ryan Reynolds had a lot to do with it. Paid for him and his friends, I think, really hmm. paid for that movie to be made. Hmm. Uh, from I, I could be wrong. Well, I don't know can, if he paid you know, for it, but I think he, as a producer, you don't have to necessarily have the money as much as raise the money. Yes, yes. Yeah. That's what I mean. Is you know Maybe some of it was out of his pocket, but I'm sure he found other people. He knew enough people that would, uh, that would uh, <laughs> put some cash down for that. And I think they were pleased when it came out. Went, well, Ryan... That was just awesome. That was awesome. And it was awesome. That's a movie my seven-year-old will probably never watch until he's way older. And if he does, he'll have to go 
by it himself. <laughs> <laughs> you got some ID for that kid? Oh, yeah, here you go. All right, there you go. He's 22, huh? Yeah. It's, it's like 22. South Park. You hire a hobo to buy it for you. Hey, <laughs> hey, man, I'm not buying you drugs. I'm not buying you liquor or smokes or none of that. No, no. Can you buy me Deadpool? <laughs> you sick little bastard. <laughs> yeah, okay, here you go. You know, it's another another funny thing is is um, a lot of the stores you go to, if you want to find uh, somebody that's a, uh, a um, an older person, 55 and older, and uh, you can get deals on things. Yeah, really good deals. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, get the old hobo just to use his 10% discount. That's exactly it. That's funny. You're going to save enough money to get some, you know, some uh, some Reese's peanut butter cups and a Coke to watch the movie on. That's great. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, as uh, as we have been saying, why are you buying fireworks? Yeah. Why? It's it's pointless. Go watch them somewhere else and climb up on somebody's roof and watch him somewhere else i can that's how i watch him up at the at the muckle shoot indian reservation is i climb up on my roof and can see him all from there hmm. i'm not that close but i'm close enough happy fourth of july everybody 